today's class is statistical methods and so in our last class we looked at weather we are still in geography form one and so let's get started uh you might need to speak to skip to a specific topic however this topic is not quite detailed so you may not need that for now so we are going to by the end of this topic we hope to have defined the term statistics identify types and sources of statistical data identified and described methods of collecting and coding data analyzing and interpreting present and present statistical data using appropriate graphical methods this one will do in a, a statistics two three and uh, probably four um and um we're going to explain the advantages and disadvantages of each method that we use to present data. So let's define what statistic is. So statistics is exact numerical figures collected systematically and arranged for a particular purpose. Statistical data is information presented in form of numbers. Yeah, just that. Statistical methods are techniques of collecting, gathering, recording, analyzing, presenting, and interpreting statistical data. So to define statistical methods, we need to define statistical data. And before we are able to define statistical data, we need to understand what statistics is about. And so we are going to look at the types of statistics. And we have discrete data, continuous data, individual data and grouped data sources of statistical data these we have primary data which is first hand or original information from the field uh, since we just looked at weather this could be mean daily temperature from a weather station uh, secondary or derived data this is second hand information available in stored sources compiled by other researchers it, yeah so methods of collecting data one we have observation it is basically use of eyes to observe features or whether then information is recorded immediately and the advantage is it gives first-hand information which is reliable it is rele uh, it's relevant material to the study only relevant material to the study is collected uh, it's time saving since one doesn't have to look for data in many places. It could have its own disadvantages. This could be data on past activities isn't available. Since like we can't observe the past. Uh, it may be hindered by weather conditions. It's ineffective for people with visual disabilities. It's also tiresome and expensive as it involves in a lot of traveling because physical presence is required to observe. So we have interviews. Interviewing, it's gathering information from people by direct discussions, then answers are recorded. It may be face to face or on a telephone. So a questionnaire has to be prepared in, adv in advance and the guidelines are one should be too polite, warm and friendly, respondents or interviewees should be assured information is confidential. Uh, we also, respondents should not be interrupted when answering questions and they should not give clues but answers should come from them. And so the advantages could be it's reliable first hand information. The interviewer can seek clarification in case of ambiguity of answers, can be used on illiterate people. Uh, it's also interviewer can gauge the accuracy of responses from uh, observing the behavior or the response of the interviewee. The disadvantages could be it's time consuming since only one person can be handled at a time. Could be expensive and tiresome as extensive traveling is required to meet the respondents may encounter language barrier if the respondent doesn't speak 
the same language as the interviewer and probably finally a respondent may lie exaggerate or distort facts leading to collection of wrong information we also have administering questionnaires so the difference is uh, interviewing you are physically asking uh, questionnaires you are giving out the questionnaires you can note somewhere here that a questionnaire needed to be prepared then here you will hand the questionnaire to to the respondents and we have two types that is open ended questionnaire in which the respondent is given a chance to express his views uh, the disadvantage of this is that the different answers are given different answers are given which are difficult to analyze we have a rigid questionnaire in which respondents are given answers to choose from what are the characteristics of a good questionnaire it needs to be short use simple language systematically arranged from simple to difficult uh, questions should be clear and it should not touch on the respondent's privacy advantages are the comparisons can be made since questions are similar and it saves money on traveling as physical presence isn't required another advantage could be a lot of information can be collected the disadvantage would be difficult analysis due to different answers some questionnaires may be sent back while blank by lazy respondents and unfortunately neatly can be used on illiterate respondents content analysis this is a technique of collecting data from secondary sources this is by reading watching films viewing photographs and listening to get what is relevant the advantages are it's easy to get data if analyzed it's cheap as there isn't uh, extensive traveling saves time as all information is on one place and it's possible to get all data the disadvantages could be it's difficult to verify accuracy of data data may be relevant to current trends up to date data may be may not be readily available there are others measuring collecting samples counting or census taking photographing digging feeling and touching you can try to research on this or just get the geography app and read more on this methods of recording data we have note taking we have filling in questionnaires we have tallying we have tabulation we have field sketching we have mapping or drawing maps we have tape recording and since we've collected data and recorded it we need to analyze it so that it makes sense to us and so we analyze data by working out arithmetic mean median mode percentage and range so mean this is the average we have the median which is the middle value in a set of data arranged in order and we also have the mode which is the most frequent recurring value in a set of data we have percentages this if in the study of this is an example of 100 hectares of farm technic tears are, dev are devoted to maize which is what is the percentage of the area under maize that is the 10 over the total multiplied by 100 that gives us the percentage we also calculate ranges uh, when numerical data is collected from the field it's called raw data it is the collected figures which are not yet organized so the data can be arranged in an array and thus show the range which is the difference between the largest and the smallest values we can represent this data that we've collected rec we've uh, collected recorded and analyzed to graphs which 
are easier to interpret. And so we have a simple line graph, which is easy to construct, easy to interpret, easy to read, show the trends. The disadvantage it doesn't give a clear impression of the quality of data. So we have a simple bar graph. We have a combined line and bar graph. And that marks the end of our introduction to statistics. So we can try out and see what we've learned. Let's look at a quiz. Where is the quiz? You can look at a quiz. Maybe you can look at that in our next topic. So our next topic will be maps and map work. See you in the next topic.